Hi everyone, we are so glad to be with you on this Tuesday. Christians think about a lot, think a lot about starting eternity. And at the start of the eternity, we're gonna appear before our maker. And we want to hear more than anything else, well done, good and faithful servant. To hear that, we need to live in a way that is faithful and obedient to God's will. Sometimes Adele asks me how my day went. Sometimes I ask myself how my day went. I am tempted to think of that, to answer that or judge how well my day went in terms of how did I feel? How much of my to-do list did I check off? How well did I do whatever job assignments were given me? How much did I fulfill my plans for the day? But maybe that's all wrong-headed. Maybe the most important thing was was I faithful? Was I obedient? And to be faithful and obedient, I need to make a good faith effort to determine what God's will is for me in the day, and then I need to follow up on that faithfully in obedience. And I get it that sometimes it's hard to know what God's will is, but in some sense it's the easiest thing in the world to know. I don't always discern what God's will is, but I think I know that God's will is always that I do what I can best guess is his will, so then I always can do his will, because I always have a best guess, and sometimes even if I'm doing something that turns out it wasn't God's preferred will, I'm pleasing him by giving it with my whole heart. And one of the neat things about this is when I do it, and that has that much meaning, it's all the more enjoyable. I'm living in the moment because it has meaning and it's significant. And I think as I approach it and I try to do what God wants, I know sometimes I'm right on and some days I'm not because I get so wrapped up in my to-do list or everything that comes at me and I'm not able to process all of it as I want. And I just need to come back and center in prayer and center with God to figure out what that is because it can easily get all mixed up. Yeah. And sometimes we center and we're not sure. But even then, we can do what we think is God's will. And God's always pleased when we do what we think is his will, even if it turns out we were wrong. What else are we gonna do? Do something other than what we think is what God really wants? So it's quite a joyful way to live. So may you this week joyfully try to live with the Lord, follow his lead, and let God lead your way, knowing that God works in all things for good. And I hold on to that all the time. Even if I get myself in a mess or I wasn't being quite as faithful at that moment that I thought God, want, I wasn't doing exactly what he wanted me to do, to let God into that moment to make the best out of wherever I found myself. May you do the same this week. Take care. Bye-bye. God bless you.